Now I'll be honest, I'm not usually one to crochet purses. They never seem sturdy enough and because of this, I never end up using them. But this one is completely different. It's just as good as anything you'd buy in the store. Macrame cord is the secret to this extra sturdy, completely functional crochet bucket purse. I used three different colors, but you can get as creative as you want. Make it a solid color, have two big stripes, have several stripes, whatever you want. About 320 yards of three millimeter macrame cord should cover you for the entire purse. Start off with a slip knot and 23 chains. Then find the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet there. And go ahead and place a marker in that stitch so you know which one is the first of the round. Then make one single crochet in each remaining chain. When you get to the last chain, make four single crochet there instead of one, wrapping the work around as you go. This will expose the bottom of the chain so you can work some stitches, and that's what we're going to do next. So make a single crochet in the bottom of each chain to the last. Now if you're having problems seeing them, use the top part of the row as your guide. Then make three single crochet in the last chain. So we won't join here, you'll just keep going so there are no join lines in the side of your purse. So remove the marker and make two single crochet in the first stitch. Replacing the marker in that first stitch. Then make a single crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. By the way, the best way to follow along with my tutorials is to have the pattern in front of you too. That'll answer any questions you may have at this point, and you can view it completely free on my website. Or if you prefer to print the pattern, I have that option for you too. You can pick up the PDF from my shop. I'll have a link to both options in the description below so you can do what works best for you. All right, next make two single crochets in each of the next four stitches. Then one single crochet in the next 20 stitches. And finally, two single crochets in the last three stitches. Now at the end of round two here, you should have a total of 56 stitches. For round three, make two single crochets in the first stitch here. Replacing that marker. And 
and two single crochets in the next. Then make a single crochet in the next 20 stitches, just like the last round. But this time, make two single crochets in each of the next eight stitches. Then one single crochet in each of the next 20. And finally, two single crochets in each of the last six stitches for a total of 72 stitches this round. Now you can take a little breath because it's pretty much simple from here. Just make one single crochet in every stitch of every round until it measures about five inches from the bottom edge. You can carry the stitch marker as you go if you'd like, or you can take it off whichever you prefer. We re won't really be using that as a guide anymore to tell us what is the first stitch of the round. There are no more increases or decreases or anything like that. At that point, you're ready for the first color change. I've already trimmed my first color cord and loop the new color over, leaving about a six inch tail. Then insert your hook in the next stitch, lace the loop on your hook and pull through, then yarn over with the new color and pull through to finish the stitch. Then tie the two ends together in the back to keep it nice and secure. And from here, the repeat is the same, just one single crochet in every stitch. So if you're watching this before you get started on the project and you've never worked with macrame cord before, you're probably wondering if this stuff is just completely impossible and terrible to work with. And honestly, it's not as bad as you might think. It's not as easy to crochet with as yarn, of course. Yarn has some stretch and some give to it. Macrame cord is thick and it's sturdy and it doesn't stretch but it's those qualities that make macrame cord the perfect choice for really sturdy crochet projects like bags and baskets and rugs and those sorts of projects. I'd say the expectation you should have with crocheting with macrame cord is not to expect to crochet for hours and hours with this stuff, but it's still pretty doable for an hour or two at a time. The max I've ever crocheted with macrame cord is about four hours and I could really feel the fatigue in my hands and my wrists. Now with that same expectation, I finished this purse in three days, crocheting about an hour or so here and there. Want an ad-free experience? How about the ability to enjoy all Beoked content before anyone else? Members of my Patreon community not only get to watch all videos completely free of ads, but they also get the PDF for all new patterns. Choose the Insider Preview tier for these perks, or if you really love patterns, choose the Insider Plus tier to unlock an additional 76 classic Be Hooked PDFs, as well as the entire archive of patterns released in 2021. Join my Patreon community today for all of these perks, as well as customized pattern support if you need it. You can cancel at any time if your financial situation changes, or if you simply change your mind. Links in the description below. So you'll keep working with this color until it measures 10 inches from the bottom edge. That way, this stripe is the same size as the first if you're making a purse that looks exactly like mine. Then you'll work the color change exactly as before. And this time, you'll follow the same pattern one single crochet in every stitch of every round until it measures 14 inches from the bottom edge. So you can see here, I've stopped a few stitches before my color change. We don't have to be 
too exact here. The goal is to reduce this little jagged edge from working in a spiral. To do that, all we need to do is make a few slip stitches. And in this case, four to be exact is how many I worked. Now here's one of my favorite techniques. Trim the yarn and pull up on the hook to pull it all the way through. Then thread that tail on a yarn needle and find the stitch next to the placement of your last slip stitch. Put the needle through that stitch from front to back. Then find that last slip stitch, which should just be right next to it, and poke it down through, catching the single crochet loop that's peeking through as well. And see, that created a fake stitch or an invisible join. Then run the cord down and weave it in a bit on the inside. Now weaving in ends with macrame cord is not easy, but if you take it one loop at a time, you can usually get the job done. All right, now for the handles. So you'll want to measure four inches in on each side and place a marker in that spot, four rounds up from your second color. Do that on both sides. Then cut four strands total of yarn about 12 to 14 inches long. So you have one for each attachment point for each of your two handles and run it through the inside out at the point of your stitch marker. leaving a bit of tail on the inside so you can tie that off later. Then run it straight up three rounds through to the inside. And start over. Wrap it around like this four times. Then tie off the ends on the inside. And repeat that so you have two attachment points for both straps. Now, don't forget to check the description below for links to the pattern. If you have any questions at all, you'll more than likely find the answers there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, I'd love to keep inspiring you to make something that makes you happy. So hit that subscribe button so I can see you back for the next one. If you are already subscribed, thank you. I appreciate your support more than you know. All of the comments, likes, shares, those little actions, although they don't seem like much, they really fuel this channel and help me to keep doing what I'm doing. Happy hooking, and I'll see you in the next one.